guys. I am switching it up a little bit. It's Sunday and I'm starting the vlog on Sunday this week. Right now it's not quite 11 o'clock and I am headed to Target. Because last night with my, you know, anticipation of Animal Crossing to come out on the Nintendo Switch, I was doing some more research and everything and watching some more videos and just all that and decided I wanted to order a, or I wanted to get a Nintendo Pro controller, which the Switch comes with these little Joy-Con things that are kind of small. And since I'm planning on playing quite a bit of Animal Crossing, I wanted to get like a regular kind of controller. And all the reviews I was looking at and everything, even though it's expensive or more expensive than like aftermarket or off, not Nintendo brand, whatever, they're pro controller. And so I looked on Amazon and I found it on Amazon, but I have a $5 gift card for Target. So I found it on Target and I searched my store online and they only had like two left. So I went ahead and did the store pickup. So I ordered it last night, it's already ready. So my main motivation is to go to Target to get that controller. And then I figured I would go look at their other Switch things even though I've looked at them many times. Um, and then also I want to get some lint rollers. I have some, but I want to get just a, like a little two pack to just keep in one of the coffee table drawers in the living room for um, if Django fur is like sticking to any of the furniture, which so far it doesn't look like anything is sticking to it, but he hasn't been on it a whole lot, which is fine. He hasn't tried to scratch it at all, which is awesome. He's been just using his scratching posts like normal. And, but anyway, I just want to be prepared and get a couple of those. And then I'll look around and then Sam's, um, what was it? Brian needs some renitidine. I forget what that's the generic form of. It's a heartburn medicine that you can, t that you take every day. Used to be prescription, but it hasn't been prescription for a while. It works really good for him. So his doctor just tells him to get that. But Sam's Club has a, the best deal for it. And then we need some, you know those little cloths, like alcohol wipe cloths that you use for your glasses? Well, we use them for our glasses. We also use them to clean our cell phones, his iPad, you know, because if you look at different little articles and stuff, they talk about like some of the dirtiest things in your house and cell phones are one of them because people don't think to clean them or disinfect them. And so those are alcohol pads, so they'll work for that. And we're getting low to watch I'll go to Sam's and they'll be like sold out of those I've heard at least in my experience I haven't seen toilet paper be sold out but I'm gonna look when I'm at Target what their area looks like but around the country because of the coronavirus and people being afraid what I, I think the reason they're buying toilet paper up is because they're thinking if they're stuck in their house um, but also hand sanitizer, soap, stuff like that. So, but just actually on the news last night, they said they had their first confirmed case in Kansas, in Johnson County, Kansas, which is actually close to where I live. I live in Missouri, but we live along the state line. So we very easily go to Kansas. And so there was a confirmed case there. And then there's also been a confirmed case in St. Louis, Missouri, which, so Missouri now too, but St. Louis is, it's about four and a half hours away. So I'm thinking maybe now that there's a Missouri case and a Kansas case, people are gonna freak out. I don't know, but I'm not freaking out. I mean, I don't wanna get the coronavirus. I'm just keeping what we, you know, like always washing my hands and um, they say don't touch your face and people touch their face a heck of a lot more than they realize they do. And so I noticed I like I do not like I'm not touching my eyes and my nose. I'm more like like my chin and you know, stuff like that. So but I'm going to watch all that. 
and uh, yeah so I've rambled for five minutes and I've made it to Target so I guess I'll go inside <laughs> it is another really super windy day I think it's even windier today than yesterday so I put barrettes in my hair to kind of try to hold it back a little bit and Brian and I are planning on going to see the Invisible Man today at 4.30 or 4.50. I have to look it up again. So hopefully that all works out. He's working on taxes right now. So into Target I go. I need some Cheerios. This is my favorite flavor of Cheerios. Oh my goodness, this wind! I swear, it is like actually, it's sunny and it looks like it could be such a beautiful day, but the wind has just ruined what would have been a nice feel like spring day. It's supposed to get up to like 69 today. And I was like all excited, you know? It's like rocking my car. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's like leaves blowing around and it like hurts if they hit you and stuff so right now it's 12 oh four I think it says the the Sun is like yeah 1204 right now it's 57 it doesn't even feel cold it's really really pretty um, so now I'm headed to whoops I swear I muted that it said music muted, then when I put my car in drive, it unmuted. Like it assumed that you didn't mean what you just said. Um, <laughs> it's like I was trying to get the stuff out of my cart, and the wind kept wanting to pull the cart away and roll it away from me. Um, so did you see we were, at least Target, I didn't see any hand sanitizer. And actually, um, the aisle I was in that had the note it was like soap and it was all the antibacterial soap that was gone um, but I didn't find where there was hand sanitizer anywhere so I think maybe it was on the same shelves um, I may actually say I saw a story a while back that said not to use antibacterial soap but because um, it also kills the the little good bugs you know the good bugs that kill the bad ones but, um, and then the toilet paper wasn't any lower than it normally is. It was just regular. So now I'm going to Sam's. They had my controller that I, obviously, it would have not been good if I ordered it and they said it was ready for pickup and they didn't have it. And then I went back in the aisle and they, they were right. There was only one left back there. And you want to know the funny thing is ordering it online, it was cheaper. It was cheaper online than it was to go buy it on the shelf. So... It worked out in my favor for sure so anyway now I'm going to Sam's and then I'm gonna go home talk to you again soon so I'm done in Sam's it wasn't ranitidine it was a meprazole that Brian needed so I got that and the glasses cloths and I got really pissed off when I first got out of my car because there's two potholes in front of my car up here and they're both full of water and I got out of my car I barely was walking along the front of us in this big ass truck you know one of those dualies one of those big big trucks I don't think he even realized he did it but he ran in those potholes <laughs> Whoosh, all of my legs just they're dry now. I went in the bathroom when I first got in. Kind of dabbed them a little bit, but it was like, oh my goodness, what a pain in the ass. And I said a few not so choice words right after it happened. So now I'm going home and it's 1 1, right up, straight up. 
So there was actually a movie at 150 and I don't know if Brian would want to go see that one, but we're going to go to one of the two hopefully today. So now I'm just going to keep on driving home and I will talk to you again soon. Hey guys, so we're back home. The Invisible Man was really good. I enjoyed that movie a lot. I liked it. It was a thriller. It's not a scary movie, it's a thriller, but it was like suspenseful and just really good. And when I went to Target earlier, I forgot lint rollers, but Brian had a brand new one, so I just brought that in the living room. But here's the controller that I was talking about. It's just a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. So, got that. And now I'm getting ready to go. It's 4.30 right now. Brian went to go to the grocery store and I'm going to organize underneath my bathroom sink because I have a like a Lazy Susan under there but it's like a really short one. And when I was at Target I bought a tall one. Uh, let me show it to you. I got this one. So then when I put stuff in it, it won't fall over when I go to turn it. Like I have some like lotion bottles and stuff like that. So I got the tall one, which got his interest. What is it? <laughs> He's so silly. lost interest. <laughs> See? Now I can turn it easily. And then I got a little one too that I put that I can turn easily as well. And this whole thing comes out too or pulls out. Good. <clears throat> Good morning guys. If you heard that little clawy sound, it's Django using his scratching post. Today's Monday, the start of a fresh new week. It's raining outside. I think I have to stop and get gas in my car because I forgot to do it this weekend. So I need to get a move on, get my lunch together, get going. And I'm hoping for a good week, but I will talk to you again soon. Guys, I forgot to show you what this looked like with the wreath on it. I think it turned out really good. I like it a lot. Good morning guys. Today is Tuesday. So the second day of the week. <laughs> it's like I turn this thing on and I'm like, what do I say? I don't know. I don't really have anything to talk about. It's early in the morning, so I'm tired. But so, you know, I don't know. I just still like to say good morning each morning, even though it's probably not even morning when you're watching this, but Anyway, I need to get my lunch and get all my stuff gathered together and get headed out the door, start the day. I always hope for a good day, and so I hope today is one, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Good morning, guys. Today's Wednesday, so reaching the halfway point. I'm really cold this morning. I don't know. It feels, I just feel really cold. But it's supposed to, is it today, get in the 60s? Or maybe the 50s? I don't know. I know the birds are singing outside this morning and I love the sound of that. I just feel like spring is coming and I am ready for it. Although Saturday we have a chance for um, snow, but hopefully it won't happen. We'll see. And Thursday, tomorrow, I think is supposed to be thunderstorms, which I'm alright with thunderstorms. 
so but anyway it's morning so I gotta go through my normal morning routine um, last night we just you know went to the gym did our normal evening but anyway I gotta get hey guys so it's Wednesday after work and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna stop at Walmart on my way home even though I don't really feel like it um, it was a rough day today I'm just I, I, I don't know I'm not gonna commiserate about it because I probably would say something I would regret about work but <laughs> oh, I'm just tired um, I'm telling you this whole coronavirus thing Part of me feels like they're blowing it out of proportion and then the other part of me feels like they're just trying to take all the precautions they can. I've been sitting here listening to talk radio on my way home and they're talking about possibly like the double the NCAA basketball games being played without crowds, you know, just having the players, colleges all over the place or sending students home and then they can do their classes online. Um, it's just really kind of crazy. Um, I still feel like there's something that we're not being told, but, uh, I subscribe to the CDC's weekly newsletter, but, um, it's, I think that probably they're just taking an abundance of caution, you know what I mean? Like because they said, the CDC said, this virus <clears throat> spreads really quick. It's super, super contagious, even more contagious than the flu. <coughs> Start talking about a virus, and then my throat starts getting scratchy. Uh, it's because I talked a ton at work today. So my throat is tired from talking earlier. Um, and then when I get home, I, I want to film Bon Giorgio Lee. I might not, I don't know. But anyway, they're saying it's just a lot more contagious than the flu. It's not as deadly as the flu, at least across the board. You know how the flu is deadly to kids, people with immune systems that are compromised, and then also healthy people die from it. Whereas so far, this coronavirus seems to be sparing the kids and um, isn't as deadly but since so many people can get it you know but anyway the reason I'm stopping at Walmart is stock up on toilet paper and hand sanitizer not really I want to get some frozen vegetables <laughs> and some fruit and just some stuff like that because we're out of all that and I want that to eat so that's why I'm stopping <laughs> but anyway I'm telling you I'm just really tired this week I'm tired of work <laughs> hey guys so I'm done at Walmart I didn't stay in there very long It's not really too crowded today. I don't know if it's because people are staying home or <clears throat> what, but I did notice that um, they were, I did go ahead and buy some toilet paper. We don't really need any, but it's like since everybody's making like a mad rush on toilet paper, it's not really something you want to run out of, so I went ahead and bought one. Um, it was like a 12 pack, but so I went ahead and got one. Um, and then out of curiosity, I went over to look at like the hand sanitizer and stuff and all that was sold out was gone. Like um, all of like the Clorox wipes. And then if you went over to like the baby section, all of the like, handy wipes or whatever they call them those were all gone and then I showed you the cleaning aisle um, that's where like the Clorox wipes and the Clorox spray and all that was it was 
wiped out and then in the laundry aisle there was some bleach left but you could tell a lot of bleach had been sold what else did I notice I didn't really notice any groceries being low um, there was a really annoying lady <laughs> that was like driving one of the um, little cart things and then she had somebody with her that had a cart and she was kind of just pointing and yelling at what she wanted I need six frozen corn she just so happened to be in the aisle I wanted to be in because I was over there getting frozen vegetables because those are so easy just pop them in the microwave because sometimes that's what I'll have for dinner I'll just eat vegetables I didn't end up getting any fruit because none of it really appealed to me uh, fruit peel none of it really sounded good and I'm kind of burned out on apples and um, so I got like Brussels sprouts I got this one thing that I hadn't seen before that Walmart had this like root vegetable so it has like carrots and beets and turnips and that one sounded really good but just several varieties but that lady she just said I want six frozen corn I want six of the broccoli you know just like yelling it out and then this kid that was with her would be like going up there and getting it and putting it in and that packaging doesn't look right and it was just it was annoying I don't know. Maybe, I think part of it is I'm, I'm kind of in a, a foul mood today. You know, just work related. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and I got some salads. I hadn't, you know, the salads that I like to take for my lunch in the summertime. I've been taking like um, albacore tuna packs, but I got some salads, not for lunches necessarily, but more for like dinners. I just picked up four of them and then a bunch of vegetables and the toilet paper. And then I got two, um, I got a little thing of carrot juice just to try it. There's a dog. He was starting to stretch out on his leash and I wanted to be real careful there um, and then I got one that's like a tropical to try out <laughs> just like these little juices that were over in, in like the refrigerated section next to like the prepared fruits and stuff so now I'm just gonna head home and put the groceries up which I didn't get that many and then I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> probably look for more Animal Crossing videos honestly guys today is Thursday the last day I have to drive down to the building for the week I'm so glad it's supposed to thunderstorm today but it's supposed to get up in the 60s yesterday was absolutely gorgeous it was like 67 degrees <clears throat> when I went into Walmart and <clears throat> got off work and stuff it was just I just loved it and it was sunny and it was just like ah, oh, it feels so much like spring and then today, I think it's really going to feel like it because, you know, thunderstorms and the 60s again. And then it's supposed to, a cold front's supposed to come through the, through tonight and then Saturday it might snow. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, why can't this really super nice weather be on the weekends? Especially because, like, where I work now, the room I'm in, there's no windows or anything. So, it's like, once I get in work, I don't see outside until I leave. So, oh well. Anyway, I'm going to get all my stuff together and get headed out the door. Hope for a good day, and I will talk to you guys again soon. So I'm getting ready to have this salad. I've never had this one before. I got it at Walmart when I was there yesterday. It says it's um, pulled pork and roasted corn salad with creamy chili lime dressing. I'm not a huge fan of lime, so I'm hoping that it's not super lime flavored, but that looks pretty good. So I'm going to mix that up and have that for dinner. There it is all mixed up. 
I didn't catch when I was reading the label, it also has a barbecue drizzle and croutons. It smells so good and I tasted the dressing and it's yummy. It's not too much lime. I'm looking forward to this. Hey guys, it's Friday and I am headed to Target and the work day, all that stuff's all done for the day. And um, thank goodness, I'm just so glad. I'm so glad the work week's over. It's not been an easy week work-wise. But I do wanna say, I, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with like my current boss and coworkers and stuff. It's people outside of that circle. But my boss is really awesome. She let me know today, earlier today before I left or got done with work, that she had. She knows I have a pre-existing, like a heart condition. She knows I have a condition that has caused um, my an, an artery spasm, which has led to a heart attack. That's happened to me two times. Those of you that have known me for a while know that. Um, and so you know the COVID nineteen, this novel novel coronavirus you know it's it's harder on people that have like heart issues lung issues just things like that and so she contacted human resources on my behalf you know to talk to them and basically she got it approved where if I want to start working from home until further notice you know until this is all done or whatever I can if I want I don't have to they're not making me and so I told her, you know, for now, um, unless there ends up being, like, more cases around me and stuff, um, right now the closest ones by where we live, there's four that are close by us, like in a county right next to ours. But unless the numbers start going up and they start saying there's more in our community, stuff like that, I'm just going to keep working from the building because I've got my dual monitors there and everything I feel like you know I feel like I would be I kind of feel like I'd be taken to taking advantage of I don't know right now I don't feel like I need to work from home does that make sense um, but I'm just gonna see I'm just gonna play it by ear and see you know you might see me Monday saying something totally different I don't know right now um, I've just I've I've always been a hand washer and I'm continuing to do that but I've also added and then you know I use hand sanitizer occasionally like after going to stores stuff like that but not consistently so I'm doing that more consistently I'm just doing things to better try to <laughs> combat germs and stuff but anyway the whole reason I'm going to Target is we need Kleenex We've got plenty of toilet paper, but we need Kleenex. I'm hoping I can actually get Kleenex. I mean, and the whole reason we need it is it, allergy season starting now. And so Brian, he, for as long as I've known him, he gets allergies, starts this time of year. You know, he gets them all through the spring. He also has like fall allergies. So he's got a runny nose and that kind of stuff. You know, your typical allergy symptoms. Runny nose is not a symptom of um, COVID-19, at least according to the health department, but so I'm going to get Kleenex and so I'm hoping that I can find it because at least in some of the other areas, I know that they're even running out of Kleenex, paper towels, you know, in addition to toilet paper. So, I mean, we do have toilet paper, so as a backup, he could use that, but I'm going to see if they have it. Last time I was at Target, what was it? Sunday? Was it Sunday I went? They ha oh my god, Target's packed. Target's never packed, except around Christmas. That's weird. Okay, what happened on the news that I didn't see today? I don't know. We'll see. I might not be able to find Kleenex. 
He's gonna also go to Walmart later because um, we need some more just normal groceries and stuff. So he said to let him know if they don't have Kleenex and that he would get it at Walmart. I guess it's not as bad as it looked at first. It's still really crowded though for, my Target's not usually crowded except for at Christmas time. You know, that kind of year or time of the year, holidays. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I can get when I'm in here. Wish me luck, guys. Even though by the time you see this, we'll already know. <laughs> with it. Paper towels seem to be okay. I did go ahead and buy or put these are the kind I like and I did go ahead and pick up one because we only have one roll left. Hey guys I'm done in Target and before I get going I'm gonna use some hand sanitizer. <laughs> I have this web of lies um you know i'm actually really glad that smells good that i bought some toilet paper the other day even though i felt like you know we had a backup pack already oh, i used way too much <laughs> um i because it was completely gone and the Kleenex I looked at when I first got there, well, I walked around for a long time in there. I always walk around for a long time in Target. Well, almost always. Man, that smells good. I was able to rub it in. <laughs> it's so much. Um, but anyway, then when I went to leave, I went back by that area. And the four, I had bought like one of the four packs of like the rectangle boxes and then um, one of the four packs of the square boxes. All the rectangle ones were gone when I went back by there. So the four packs. They still had some singles. Okay, where's my keys? And they also had limits on bottled water which I didn't buy any bottled water. We don't typically buy bottled water. But um, you could get two 24 packs of it and then it was limited. But I don't. But honestly, I'm glad I went ahead and bought a 12 pack the other day from Walmart. Hopefully they'll restock soon. And the other day when I was at Walmart, they were really low but they had a bunch of boxes and they were restocking so i'm gonna tell brian when he goes to walmart later look and see you know what they have because i was at walmart wednesday and they had a lot in boxes and stuff that they were stocking the shelves with so that's just nutty but of course there was no hand sanitizer there was no like the sanitizing wet wipes. And you know something else I bought that we still have um, two packages of are baby wipes because we use those in the bathroom, which I think a lot of people do, you know, cause not just babies need to wipe their butts. <laughs> but those, they were like almost all gone. And I, at first I thought, oh no, they don't have the ones that we like. Cause I like to get just the natural care ones. And they had like, cocoa butter and cucumber and one other kind and so I thought well I guess I'll get the cucumber but then I noticed there was one three pack left of the kind the natural care like what we get so I went ahead and picked that up too because who knows you know I was talking to um, one of the girls I work with she lives in Phoenix 
And she said there's no toilet paper, no Kleenex, no paper towels, no napkins, no baby wipes around her at all. And so she had to order some online and she was like, we're down to our last roll of toilet paper and this stuff's not supposed to come until next week. So it's just kind of nutty. Well, it's not kind of nutty. It is nutty. And look, there I'm touching my face, which they tell you not to do. I just put hand sanitizer on. There was nobody, I heard nobody coughing in the store at all. So I also got some York peppermint patties. I like to get the, um, like right now I'm going through the Valentine's ones. They're like little hearts and I got some of the little eggs this time because they're only 50 calories a piece and I really like peppermint patties. And so that's like, I'll eat three of them for like a snack in the evenings. It's a good snack because I've been trying to get back into the healthier eating habits because starting around the holidays we never quit going to the gym but we started not watching our eating habits as much and I started gaining weight back and so because um, we started eating out a lot um, eating kind of more junk at the house it's like we got out of the healthy eating habits, you know, November, December, and then here it is, March, which I actually started my healthy eating again in um, February, the end of February though. So started noticing my clothes getting tight, so I thought, you know, you better check it. So I'm doing a lot better now, but um, I don't know. I don't know as of the time that I'm talking to you if a national state of emergency had been declared yet, but I saw in the morning, I think it was on the Google homepage that that was expected to happen. I don't know if it has yet because I haven't watched the news. I'm going to do that when I get home. And then also see if there's been any other cases where we are. I'm not honestly really worried about myself. If I was going to worry about anybody, it would be, you know, people, and I, yes, I know I have a, like a health condition, but I don't think I have as severe a one as like, say somebody with like COPD or just somebody that's a lot older than me. And so I wouldn't want to like give it to somebody else. You know what I mean? Like if I got it. And I'd worry about my own parents. So, mom and dad, I hope you're watching yourselves. You're smart. I know you are. <sighs> but anyway, I think I'm actually, I don't have, well, the only plans we had talked about doing tomorrow was we want to get a tough shed in our backyard. And there's a really good, like, financing, like a 0% financing deal going on right now and also like a percentage off with a Lowe's card so Brian had talked about going and maybe picking one of those out tomorrow at the very least we're gonna measure we've got a shed back there now but it's like one of those Rubbermaid ones you know which has done well for us but we need something a little bit bigger and because I told you guys we we're having to rent like it's just a small storage locker right now but those things cost 40 bucks a month and you know that's that's a lot of money to be spending every month just to put some stuff in you know and so if we had our own storage we could put it in our own and tough sheds are um, really really good so I think I talked about it either last week or the week before but other than that I was kind of just gonna stick in the house and I thought I would go through my closet because it's getting ridiculous and I have like shirts and stuff that I haven't worn I always used to have a rule that if I didn't wear it for a year I would donate it and I stuck to that a little bit but I've noticed I was going through my closet there's things that I have not worn for probably three years and so I want to go through my closet Probably some stuff I'll donate and then some stuff um, send a thread up but I really have been wanting to do that so maybe I'll do that tomorrow um, 
just do you know house cleaning and stuff like that but just stay in the house but anyway oh my switch I got the the thing saying it's been my Nintendo switch it's been shipped it's supposed to arrive tomorrow I hope it does when I was at Target I bought Mario Kart which is a game that me and Brian and the kids played on the GameCube we played it on the Wii I don't remember if we played it on, I think we played it on the Wii U um, and then we have like the oh gosh the the little classic Nintendos that you can buy and Brian and I have played several times Mario Kart on that so I bought Mario Kart because they had a thing where it was on sale for one and then you also got free like these little steering wheels that you put the joy cons in which I'll try them I don't know if I'll like it but I'll try it and they were free so I bought that so if it comes tomorrow maybe Brian or or the boys will want to play Mario Kart with me because I know once I get to Animal Crossings and I get that game that's that's gonna take up my time you might think I'm crazy but I've been thinking about scheduling a vacation day <laughs> just to play that game I'm so excited I think I've watched about every video I can on it so I'm really excited to play that um, and I know a couple of you are Animal Crossing fans but are there any more of you out there maybe we can share I don't know how you can share like your your towns and stuff where we could like visit each other but when I figure that out that would be awesome that would be really really awesome so anyway I have rambled on enough so I'll talk to you again soon so for part of my dinner tonight I'm gonna make this I, the other day when I got the vegetables at Walmart I picked this up you oven roast them I love Brussels sprouts and this is Brussels sprouts and carrots that you roast in the oven and it's got sea salt black pepper and herbs on it and let's see how many servings does it say it is it says five servings but I'll probably eat this whole bag but, um, so anyway I'm gonna have that and I'm also gonna have a salad and that's gonna be my dinner tonight and this is the salad I'm gonna have it's another one I've never tried chicken queso fresco with creamy avocado dressing so I've never had this one before if there's anything that one last night oh my gosh I really really liked that one so sticking with the healthy hey guys it is Saturday it's two o'clock I'm still in pajamas this is my coffee monster pajamas I have not cleaned my closet that was was the plan today but that's not what I've done so far so far I organized the drunk the junk drawer the drunk drawer the junk drawer I have vacuumed I have dusted what else did I do oh I put I um, put non-slip mats under the rugs because Django like he'll like sit on a rug and then he'll launch you know he'll go running and then the rug gets flung and so I put those under there my Nintendo switch arrived a little while ago so it's all hooked up now and everything so next what I'm going to do is play Yoshi's crafted world because I don't get Animal Crossing for another week so I'm gonna check this out and then later I think Brian and I are gonna play Mario Kart so I'm getting everything charged now but I have a pro controller and you can play and charge at the same time with an adapter and so I'm gonna plug it into the wall and play so but yeah let me show you the switch it's really cool I love the colors of it so here's what it looks like this all with Tom Nook and Timmy and Tommy his nephews but I'm gonna play um, on the TV I'm gonna turn because you with the switch you can take this off and play with this screen but I'm gonna play on the TV because this is charging since it's new and uh, try out Yoshi's Crafted World and see what it looks like
Okay, this is adorable. This is a really cute game. I can't play one-handed though. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how like pretty the colors and everything are. Just one more level so I can show you the colors. Okay guys, I'm gonna keep playing my game, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the week so I can get this uploaded for my mom. And um, hope everybody stays safe out there. Wash your hands. Um, try your hardest not to take more of the supplies than you need so they can go around for everybody. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Keep playing my game. Maybe I'll clean my closet tomorrow. I don't know. But anyway, thanks so much for joining me for the week. And I hope I see you next week. Bye.